information tells stories. You have to tell stories with that information. So how do I make an infographic like this? Um, pretty simple. These I imported uh, from, uh, this is just an imported uh, thing from Calc. It's the number of female and male actors. And then I transformed and scaled this picture, which I changed the color on, in Colors and GIMP. And uh, for the last one, I used a pie graph, the big circle graph, and I selected the edge along here and extended it. So I took a top view. Now, where did I get these pictures from? I got these pictures from SketchUp. Here's what I used. I used the, I used this, I, I can, to get the right angles, probably almost always want a standard view. You get a top view, like I had. Then you can zoom in on, or out on it. You can change that to a side, a front view. You can also use left or right view. And sort of a jaunty, jaunty angle there. So you can choose the view that you'd like. If you'd rather not have a, a straight on view. Okay. So that's one of the best ways to just get your different images. How to get those images. Where did I find that? What I did, I went to 3D Warehouse, get models. Oscar statue. And there it was. I could also have said the um, pen, all sorts of pens. Pen dry. Amazing possibilities here. Just take the one that I wanted and use that. Insert it. Download it. Load it directly. You basically place it in wherever you want. It can be, and there you see. SketchUp is great for making three D things. This is from a photo texture, much like the my, the warp thing you did. But um, you can do all sorts of things. You can insert in films you can, and use that as a pie graph. You can put in dinosaurs, draw into scale. Um, whatever you'd like to put in for, you, for your graphs, you can put them in. You just have to get your information that sort of shows them and gives you a reason for using them. But it's much more interesting to tell it, stories with pictures than with uh, just numbers.